Hi everybody, it's Darcy. I hope you're doing well. I'm pretty excited about today's video because I get to do a product review of this guy right here. Now this is a wet media or watercolor journal sketchbook by Moleskine. Now Moleskine is an Italian company and they're known for their high quality paper products such as sketchbooks, journals, and this character right here. So let's get going. Okay, so just so you know, whenever I do a product review, they're generally only positive reviews. Now you might be thinking, eh, I was looking for some constructive criticism or something bad about the product, but just so you know, if a product's bad, I'm not going to waste my time reviewing it. If a product is good and I like it and I find it could have some value add for you and you can see how I can go through a demonstration to see if it might work out for you, that's why I do the product reviews. And I still will offer some constructive criticism if it's necessary and this has some points to it that I think you should know. So anyway, if you like videos like this, I do two a week. Please hit the like button, subscribe and maybe even that notification bell and then that way whenever I post a new video you'll be aware of it. Anyway, let's look at the nuts and bolts of this thing. Okay, so pretty straightforward. It's got a nice nice binding to it, hardcover. So it's good in the field if you want to take it around, if you want to do some plain air watercolor painting. Uh, pretty straightforward. It opens up so you can do either one picture or one full one. Today I'm going to do one full one and take up all the pages. Um, there's 74 pages to it. They are cold pressed paper, 135 pound weight, which is pretty good. Um, typically I only buy 140 pound or higher, but 135 pound paper is pretty good um, and you can't really notice a difference. It's 25% cotton and uh, on both sides and the one other nice thing is it can lay nice and flat with a little bit of a dip in here but generally nice and flat so you can do a full painting on it. Okay so let's get into the video I'm gonna play some music if you stay till the end I'm gonna show you the coordinates of where I actually painted this um, it's like a grain mill and you can Google map it and you can look at the actual image of the place itself because it does exist. It's right near my house in the farm area and uh, right now there's no crops up. I think it's going to be a cornfield. Let's go.
Okay, so now that we're done this project, let's look at a few things. Now, in the future, I think rather than using a full page, I'll probably just do single pages. Does it matter? Well, what I found was sometimes this crease in the middle, the water, the watercolor, the pigment actually would pool a little bit in there. So ideally, that's not great. The other thing too is um, if I don't do a full page and stay away from the edges, I don't have to worry about pigment flowing over the side and possibly ruining the other pages. Now here's the thing. I think that's important, but at the same time, this is meant as a travel watercolor sketchbook journal. So it's not like you're going to be doing something in this where you're going to take it home and put it in a big expensive frame and put it over your fireplace and someone's going to go, oh, look at all the pigment that's gathered in it right in the crease. So I don't think it's that big of a deal. Would I use this? Would I buy another one? Absolutely. I think this is a really good product, pretty solid for its function and its abilities. I did read one review on this and someone said it's not good for using a lot of wet in wet watercolor techniques. Now what I say to that is, well, okay, maybe not, but look at the size of it. It's a perfect size for travel, for doing plein air painting and making little sketches. If I was to do some larger wet and wet techniques and wanted to do that, I probably wouldn't be using this sort of a product anyway. I'd be using a single sheet on a flat surface, maybe on an easel, where I have a little bit more control over the water and I don't have to worry about the pigment going over the edges. So all in all, good product. I recommend it. Now, I'm going to put the coordinates below me. So if you type in those coordinates on Google Maps and go to Street View, you're actually going to be able to see the grain mill that I got out of the side of the road in the country and uh, took a picture of it and did a little sketch there on the side of the road and then transferred it into the book. And then finally, the next video, which will be out in a couple of days, is going. we're going to do what Charles Darwin did on the HMCS Beagle um, back before there was computers and he was discovering new life on the Galapagos Islands. He actually took his own sketchbook, would find bugs and birds and plants you know, and do a sketch of them. And those sketches he brought back as valuable information for new species. So I'm actually going to go out and I'm going to find an insect and we're going to paint it and we're going to make a little sketch and we're going to put it in this journal. So we're just going to be like Charles Darwin 200 years ago. Anyway, I hope you're having a great day. Thank you very much. Please like and subscribe and share with your friends. And take care of yourself. See you later.